Hi, I'm Corey. Welcome to Creating with Scraps. Today is the 20th day of the December Daily Advent Tags, created and hosted by Tracy Fox Creative. Tracy Fox from Tracy Fox Creative. And I previously did a, a video for December 7th, and this one is for December 20th. And what I used to create it is I used the tag bases for December 20th. I used both, piece, both pieces. I used the label for December 20th. And then I used an image from December 22nd, the um, cute little kitties, kiddos with the uh, umbrella. Again, you don't have to use this particular image. You can use any of the fussy cut images that you like. I just liked the way they worked together. And so what I did to create this is I cut out um, both pieces of the tag. I used the tag piece on the right. I am going to adhere this into my book so I didn't put the back piece on, but you certainly could. You could cut out the whole thing and fold it in half. And then I cut the second piece and put it on the top. And so we'll, we'll go over that together. All right. So I've cut out and inked the tag, getting it ready. Just the right hand side. I'll make sure I'm in frame there. Sorry. Right hand side. Then I cut out the second tag. But rather than leaving the second tag intact as a tag, I cut it down a little bit simply because it fit better underneath the extra pieces. So I just basically trimmed off the very top that makes it a tag and I've got a journaling card instead. Um, I guess I blew it. No, I cut them out. I cut them out. Okay. So I printed a second sheet of this, this these tags. I printed a second sheet and I fussy cut the two corner pieces. So I had the regular tag, just cut it up. I cut the bottom corner piece and I cut the top corner piece just like this. And then I inked those edges. Then what I did, oh, there's pieces here. I took these corner pieces and I just glued them, make sure it's in frame, just glued them on the edges, the top and the bottom edge. I did not glue the entire piece down. So I did that with this one and you can see I didn't, I cut out the whole thing rather than just a part of it. And so if I wanted to, I could wrap it around the back and create another tuck spot. Or I can just trim it off at the end, whichever. Okay, so I glued that down just on the top and the side edge. And then the second piece, which is right here, I'll do the same thing. I'll just glue it down on the edges. Put the glue there. Put the pin in where it belongs so I don't lose it. And I'll glue it down on top of the piece that came before, the piece that's on the base of the tag. So I've got those two sections glued. And like I said, I can either wrap this or I can cut it either, either way. For now, I'm just going to tuck it in back. And so that gives you your holder. So I've taken the second tag, cut off the top, inked the edges. Now this is from December 22nd. These guys were on the December 9th page with a Christmas tree that I used for December 7th. So the page is the 9th for my December 7th tag and it had a Christmas tree and two Santa Clauses. So if I chose to, I, I, I think I fussy cut another one of these. Maybe I didn't. I've got another one available but I thought I fussy cut it. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. Well, okay. So I can take the fussy cut piece and glue it right down to the top, or I can take an alternate one. So maybe I'll take this Chris Kingle because I like the fact that he color wise is different. And I can glue him to the top. You know, you can use the same exact image I did. Again, this particular image is from the December 22nd page. This particular image is on the Christmas tree page that was on December 9th. So I'm going to glue the back of this. And the base is, the base for this particular page is the December 20th base. And then the base for the December 7th was a December 7th base. So I'm going to glue this on. And if I chose to, I could put, you know, some coffee dyed paper on the back or I could just ink the edges of the back, whichever. And then I tuck. 
tuck this piece right in here. Okay, so it holds it in place. Then, and I should have fussy cut it a third time, but I'll, we'll do that together. Um, I'll take the December 20th label. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. Shoot. Take the December 20th label and put it right here. And I put it right on the edge of those berries. So it would show, but it also wouldn't be. Okay, so like that. I covered up the berries just a little bit. Then I can take this third piece and I'll just fussy cut the berries themselves. So I'm making a third layer. You don't have to do that, but if you if you want the tag to be tucked under the berries, this is this is a great way to achieve that. And fussy cut your berries. These are really easy to fussy cut, and I can do this even without my magnifying glass. So that lets you know it's it's this is a pretty easy one to cut. As I as I struggle, I, I say it's a pretty easy one to cut. and that'll be cut off. Okay, so I, I cut this down and then I'll just use my sponge really lightly to ink the edge there. And I'll ink the bottom. And then I'll glue this bit and lay it on top of the area that I've already cut. So I lay it just on the top edge of the 20th. And that looks like it's tucked, that makes it look like it's tucked behind the berries. So, so I'm not covering the date at all. I'm just adding a layer of dimension. Okay, just like that. Make sure it's dry and then I'll trim off the excess. All right, then I've got my tag, my journaling card, my tag holder and I've got my tuck created, I will glue a tab on top and I just created these by using two sizes of hole punches. I punched the center hole first and then I centered the larger hole punch on top and punched that. I usually just make up a whole bunch of those when I have some extra black and I'll put this on my grid to make sure I'm centered and I will put that right down. Now you can see here that I've got the edge underneath my tag and so I can put it on top or on bottom whichever way I want. Then I'll use my hole punch to punch the hole in the center of that tag and I'm almost done. So I could put um, a layered, like if I wanted several pages, I could zigzag or accordion fold a piece of coffee dyed paper and tuck it right on the back and it would still fit beautifully underneath my leaves. So that would be my tag. The last step that I generally prefer to do is I'll take my Nuvo Crystal Glaze and I'll dot anything that I feel like should be um, raised or embellished. So I'll put a little light coat of this on the berries. Somebody was mentioning that they struggle with getting this to cr not crack and I think it has to do with the amount that you put on and maybe I'm wrong but I've had good luck with you know keeping my coat even and light and just kind of putting a little bit down and then spreading it around with the tip of the the, the nozzle. And maybe uh, let's see I didn't I didn't glossy accent or nouveau crystal glaze the number but it could and then let's say maybe I want the fur on Santa's hat to stand out a little bit so I'll put that glaze there and then if I'm going to raise the fur I need to do it on his sleeve muffs and I can't even see it here it is right there the sleeve muff on this one and maybe I want the snow on the Christmas tree actually what I would probably do with that is I'd use the Tim Holtz grit paste to create the snow look there and then maybe put the snow on his sleeve here but I would definitely some of these toys and such that he's got attached to his belt I'll put a little bit of the crystal glaze on those so the toys stand out a little bit doesn't make them 
two-dimensional, but it just makes them pop out a little bit. And so the Nutcracker and then the Dollies. Now with the smaller pieces, you can get super detailed if you choose to. I generally don't. I'll just kind of put a little light layer of glaze over the whole thing. So Dolly's faces are going to be a little bit shiny. But it again, it, it, uh, it, oh, and here there's some, there's some snow on the, or not snow, muff on the bottom. Rough, not muff koi. Rough on the bottom. And I'll glossy accents that. And when that's dry, I'll add the, um, the grit paste, the snow grit paste, to give that a little bit of a sparkle and snow. And, and that just finishes it off. So there's the tag. And again, you can use either um, image you like. Here, I just put some glossy accents on the berry, on his hat, on her muff, on their shoes, just to make it pop out a little bit more. I will come back and alter this and add the links to all the other amazing people that are taking place in this December Daily Advent Tag Fun Fest. And thank you for watching. Happy creating, and I hope you're enjoying a wonderful December.